place is magic. Oh, they look good. Not too much talking? Yeah, short, sharp, shiny. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. This episode we're going to try and get down to Lucky Bay. Um, we're going to try and get down to Membanup and uh, around Cape Arid somewhere like Alexander Bay. So we're going to check it out. It's an absolutely beautiful spot. So I'm really excited to get down there and have a look around. Off grid. Off grid. Hooray. Where are we going, boys? To the end of the rainbow. Lucky Ooh. Bay. Oh, there's some gold there. Lucky Bay Campground in the National Park. I think it's too big for the pouch. Do they drink milk out of there or something? Got a cold nose. <laughs> this is our site at Lucky Bay Campground in Cape Le Grand National Park. Can you see, can you see the water from here? <laughs> just when the kangaroo just won't come out. Oh, he's so cute. It's the best time to go and look for them. I have my torch ready for tonight. Oh yeah, cool. Well, apparently you can see them down on the beach, so we'll go for a look after we set up. Pretty amazing, there's uh, toilets out here. No, I'm okay. Why do you want us to go? Wow, the water is like crazy. Well, we're camping up Let's there. Let's explore the rainforest. Let's go. Come on, everyone. Whoa. Wow, so beautiful. Mum, it looks like a snowball. <laughs> Nearly. Don't wait. Looks like a snowball. It does look like a snowball. Okay, bucket flip. No. Second try. Wait, Mum. I need to leave. Uh, oh, yeah, landed it. This just doesn't even look real. We just climbed up this hill and, and this is the view we have. Mm -hmm. A big view. You have you have to come to this place. Yeah. It's called Lucky Bay. You have to come here. Hey mum, look at this fish pond. Oh there's two. So you're at high tide, fish would swim up into here and then they would just hide in the rocks and then when it goes low tide, yeah. they um this little baby one. They'll get a little trapped. <laughs> I might add one to that. From the campground at Lucky Bay there's a couple of walks you can do along the coast and I'm going to do just a short one because it's quite hot today um, through to Thistle Cove. We actually spotted a snake on the path earlier today as well so I'm being safe and wearing my boots and my pants and uh, I'll take you on the journey. It's a beautiful day and a beautiful path. Ah, oh, it's the Flinders Monument. 
to commemorate the naming of Lucky Bay by Matthew Flinders, who used this bay as a safe anchorage on Saturday, January the 9th, 1802, during his circumnavigation of Australia. This will go. It's a very uh, wide and easy track. Oh, look at that view. This looks like Thistle Cove now. I'll show you what it looks like when I get down there. Oh, there we go. Whistling Rock. Wow. The sound of the water is like echoing off this rock. It sounds like a speaker. Crikey. That's so pretty. And I think the walk continues on around to Hellfire Bay, but I'm not gonna do that today. Might go back home and have a swim. See ya. Once at school, I learned how to play it, and I already got five points. He got four because I, I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I got pretty good. <laughs> so <laughs> rub it in. Mm. All right, let's keep playing. Yeah. So I just won. You can maybe see. Wait, what's, wh what's where's, winning? Wh what? Where's the king? Oh, that was mine. Yeah. I, <laughs> I got a king. <laughs> He got me into checkmate. Mm -hmm. Well done. Good playing. So let's do a handshake. Okay. Good game. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. What are you doing, Jackie? Uh, doing some drawing. Well. Take a photo. I saw him yesterday. Hey, Kawana. Pretty cool out here, eh? Go in the middle of the path, cars are not out here. Oh, look at the flowers down here. Whoa. Um, the wind's picked up a bit, it's supposed to be dropping off tomorrow, so we'll, um, we'll probably try and show a little bit more of the site and stuff tomorrow, because um, currently I don't have the, the um, GoPro mod to soften the wind noise down, so you probably heard the last few videos we get a fair bit of wind noise, but hopefully we get back to Esperance, we'll pick up our mod and that'll be fixed. Um, so we'll try and show you a little bit more about the site um, before we head off tomorrow.
Hey guys, we've stopped into a place called Dunn's Eco Park, which is um, a, a little place that's on a working cattle farm. And um, it's down near Maryvale, I'll drop a link in there. Um, it's 40 bucks a night, but as you can see, we've got the whole place to ourselves. So we're just parked up now. So this is where, um, this is the help yourself shelf. Lots of games. We. What was our first game we played again, Mum? Skeleton Hangman. Oh yes, yeah, Skeleton Hangman. It's that. And then we play this. Yeah. Megas decided to make some um, simple pizzas out of the community garden fresh basil. So we'll give them a spin and see what the kids think. Oh, they look good. Thank, Thank you, you, Mom. That was awesome. We just stayed um, a night in Dunn's Eco Park. Um, we we had lovely hosts in there, and it was yeah, it was just beautiful. It was uh, like nestled amongst all the all the trees on a on a working cattle station. Um, they've got like bush, or well, I'd say really clean drop dunnies, but with working hot showers and you know all solar, solar panelled off grid. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. We really liked it here actually. Um, to be honest, it would be quite easy to stay a few days here. The kids loved it. They got a real basic playground um, that's like this massive tree swing type thing. and, and um, It works amazing. Yeah, it, goes, it just goes so far. It goes yeah. really high, doesn't it? It's got yeah. long ropes. Really long ropes. And they've also got a veggie garden which you can use all the herbs and stuff from. Um, and the camp kitchen has all tables I, and gas barbecues. Mum um, got just one bean for me so I could eat it, but I haven't ate it yet. Um, but yeah, definitely, um, definitely we could recommend this place. Um, I think um, if you're looking around the Esperance area to get away from the, you know, hordes of people and hustle bustle, like, you know, um, definitely give it a shot. So this one here is uh, about an hour or so out of Esperance, heading east. And then, so there's the van tonight, and just a short little stroll out onto the beach there. Oh, wacky dude! <laughs> yeah, there's heaps of flooding, but. As you can see. been swamped. Oh, no. Jack and I are going on a little mission to try and scout out a beach camp. So we stayed the first night at Membanup last night but we, we parked behind all the trees and stuff because we got here fairly late and we didn't we didn't want to try and attempt a mission like that first thing. So so today our first mission is to try and get down get the get the caravan on the sand. Jack and I have already walked it out, haven't we mate? Yeah. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, we're going through the puddles. Let's do big off road Yeah, the, it's, a, it's a higher chance getting bogged the first time you come where there's no track.
It's actually a lot better here than it is at other spots. On this side of the van, you've got uh, the sand dunes, which shelter you a bit from the wind. And then on this side, we're looking straight out at the ocean. So, um, this place here is called Membanup. If you come out of the, the main four wheel drive camp and head a lefty and just go up towards the river's mouth, you can get onto it. Um, we did it at low tide, but um, it was hard, it was hard sand the entire way, so we didn't find it too hard to get on there at all. So let's go and have a look around. Come and have a look at this. Absolute beachfront down at Membanup. ideas man. Yeah the wind won't blow, blow it out the ground. It'll work. Agree. Dad guess what? Guess who pulled out all the chairs? You did, I watched you. And I was just set up the table. Good lad mate, thanks for all your help. So we've just sort of popped out of the wind here. If I step around this corner there's a lot that the breeze is coming from that way but if you set up behind the hills the creek's coming out just through here and the mouth, you can see a little bit of the brown part that's just the creek water and then the wind's sort of coming from that way so we've parked it up directly against the wind so we can sit behind it and enjoy the view and be out of the wind Just come up off the beach, we spent two nights at Membana um, which was really, really beautiful. Um, easy access with our van and car. Um, really, really pretty spot. Unfortunately, the wind came up quite hard yesterday. It was about 40, even up to 50 kilometers an hour. Um, and being right on the sand down near the creek there, it was pretty exposed. So um, we have decided to leave just because the wind's getting worse today. But if you can find a day that's nice weather, don't go down there because it's magic. Um, not sure where we're heading at the moment we're going to check out Alexander Bay or Cape Arid but once again exposed to the wind so we're just going to find somewhere else and uh, see where we end up. We have just rocked up to Duke of Orleans Caravan Park and the lady at the um, check-in said you have to check out Wharton's Beach it's the best one in Australia and she said that's not even because I'm biased or a local so we've just driven down and caught one glimpse of it and it's friggin amazing so we're just gonna go and find a place to drive on there I'll show you around check it out <laughs> wow that is so nice oh my god it looks like blue jelly You were doing pretty good, are you freezing? Are you freezing? Well, when I, the first time I went, I was freezing, but it got better. Oh, good. Did you get a good jack? Yeah. Yeah? Did you catch some good ones? Yeah. Good job. First surf for the trip. Did Daddy catch any? No. Oh, there's a cold. <laughs> <laughs> this place is magic. It's like that island I always wanted to live on. Like Wilson. Yeah. No, I'm Wilson. You're Tom Hanks. <laughs> okay. Definitely chuck Wharton's Beach on your to-do list when you come to the southwest. It's absolutely incredible. But yeah, definitely for day area. I don't think you can actually camp on here, but we're just staying in the Duke of Orleans caravan park tonight, which um, which looks really good. Um, it's got power and water and whatnot. So um, 
and close to heaps of good stuff. They give you a little map of the caravan park which has all these little bays and where the hikes are, the four wheel driving, all the, yeah. all the touristy highlights. Yeah, so we've been on the beach for a couple of days but this is definitely a good way to drop the van off and have a look around without having to worry about that extra weight on the back. So let's uh, chat the drone up and we'll show you what it looks like. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday our Esperance stint. Um, we've done some national parks, beach camping, caravan parks. It's really nice around here. Um, I've seen it. Yeah. I've just watched it. Cool. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> Loved it. It's time to head uh, to Albany. Yeah. And get ready for Christmas. Yeah. So, Maybe. thanks for watching. Uru. Uru.